Let's let them know who really got it. Came up from the bottom. Now we riding in a mozzie. And these my jetters done burnt the hole in my pocket. See me, I'm shining. Yo, what's going on guys? It is your boy Bugs and today guys I'm gonna be giving you 45 facts that we know about multiverses and a little 50-50 situational stuff that we don't know because they talked about it but hasn't fully fully confirmed it just to throw it into the to the bunch. And also this is gonna be a long video. I try my best to section it off because obviously there's gonna be a lot of stuff that you already heard, probably some stuff you didn't hear, probably didn't hear, and all that stuff. So I try to section it to like, you know, settings, characters, customization, features in the game, you know. So you could kinda jump around and try to figure out what you wanna hear. But if you wanna watch the whole video, hey, appreciate you, man. And let's get straight into the video, guys, because it's gonna be a long one. Alright, so the first one, obviously, is the game is free to play, guys. Yes, you don't have to spend a dime to get this game, downloaded it and it's free second thing it's gonna be cross play guys yes multiple platforms will be able to play with each other that is awesome number three cross progression yes not only that you be able to play with um, anyone on any platform but you'll be able to jump between platforms yourselves number four the platforms that are have been confirmed right now is the ps4 and the ps5 the xbox one the xbox series and pc no confirm on the mac they talked about the switch but not on release that's something they're going to probably work on in the future and they have no say into mobile yet as i can remember number five they're going to have dedicated service and rollback network that is amazing rollback will also be improved as much as they can and they'll continuously work on it throughout you know however long the game lasts pretty much to make it as perfect as they can number six game modes the game modes that have been confirmed are four player free for all 1v1s 2v2s, if you don't know, this game is pretty much built on 2v2, just wanted to throw that in there. It's going to be private matches. They're going to be working on land play. There was a little talk about how they might not have it ready for the release date, but again guys, they haven't confirmed the release date besides it's 2020, so I would highly doubt they will release you know, this game without it, especially that they're thinking about having an esports for it. Kind of need land play, even though you, you know, you have the online feature you kind of need land play for, for for like you know land so you know obviously they'll try their best to get it done before the game is fully released and then a possible game mode that they talked about is an eight man free for all i don't think there's going to be actual in game mode but more like a custom game mode you could do and have fun with your friends um but yeah they, they said that it's going to be 50 50 on that and then obviously other fun game modes but we don't know what it is number seven um, right now, currently, there are 13 characters in the starting roster, and they are talking about increasing it, you know, before the release date, as in they're going to have a higher starting roster when the game releases. So that's going to be amazing. And hopefully, we can get to maybe like 18, maybe even 20. That'd be awesome. Uh, number eight, all characters are possible, but must pass a test. So this what this means is, obviously, at the beginning of this game release, you can expect a lot of more wb characters the only reason why i say that is because it's easier for them to get it in obviously you know they still gotta work it and like figure out the characters and stuff but it's easier because they already have the rights now when it comes to third party characters like sonic mario boondocks uh all these other characters ben i think Ben is with them but you know what i mean like these third party characters are gonna have to go out their way to achieve to get into the game that's gonna be a little bit harder and then not only that you know they gotta go through a process of figuring out if the characters is worth it and then obviously there's a lot of characters that are never gonna make the game for example people were talking about sheldon I'm sitting here like sheldon what the hell you want sheldon in the game for you gonna know, read books or something and throw knowledge at us you know so like obviously they want any character to be possible but you know don't over exaggerate you know the possibilities of characters and making up random moves but even though it is a fun thing to do still but moving on number nine all characters are attainable for free yes guys this game is a free-to-play game and not only that you're able to get all these characters for free you just have to play and grind so pretty much it's gonna be a currency that when you play you're gonna earn coins and then you know you could buy characters now obviously if you don't have all that time to sit and grind grind and get all these characters you can just buy it obviously to you know save time I'm pretty sure that's how Brahala does it and also I think League of Legends I want to throw it out there but yeah let's move on Number 10, the game runs on 60 FPS with a 4K resolution, and not only that, there will be gaming settings to lower down anything you need to make the game possible to run for you. For example, in the background, as you can see, there's a lot of move moving pictures. It's very subtle, but you know, you can see it. You'll be able to disable that if you really need the frames. And yeah, moving on. Number 11, playable inputs will be PS controllers, Xbox controllers, and keyboard and mouse. 
obviously there's going to be third party controllers that people want to use like gamecube um the joystick big thingy but obviously those are gonna have to be based off of just softwares that you know how to do already and if you don't know you could probably just easily youtube it and stuff about how to get these stuff to work on your pc and i'm pretty sure they wouldn't ban stuff like that but obviously they can't support it because that's more of a pc and steam type of thing that you have to figure out pretty much but yeah moving on number 12 customization buttons and dead zone for controller and keyboard and mouse obviously dead zone won't be for keyboard and mouse but customization buttons would be and that is amazing to hear yeah but to be honest guys it is so weird that some games kind of restrict you to only you know their buttons and they don't want you to change nothing at all i love games that allow us to actually figure out what we enjoy and feels more comfortable for us in our hands so that's awesome to hear i'm um, moving on is number 13 um the game will have a top jump button now example i believe we'll have two jump buttons for example when you hold it down you know the higher you jump versus you have another button that where you can just tap it and then you could you know instantly tap jump to full i think height or probably like the bare minimum which is pretty cool can't wait to see how that works number 14 is tutorials there's going to be tutorials for basic and advanced there's going to be training room and i just want to throw my quick opinion on this i hope they think about doing an online training room and the reason why i say that is because the game is based off of 2v2s obviously your 2v2 most likely is going to be an online partner and i think that would be pretty lit that you could actually do online practice on 2v2 move sets and all that stuff and not only be forced to do it in customs and um you know online so i think it'll be you know like actual matches so i think it'll be really cool if they think about that or see this video and think about it you know haha <laughs> uh, we're moving on number 15 will be uh customization there's gonna be skins taunts announcers ring outs profile pictures banners menu music and possibly intros and tri outros when it comes to when you enter the games and when you're leaving the game which i think is fucking amazing it's like what eight or nine things that you can customize in this game and possibly more in the future down the line awesome man can't wait to see what they have in store for us number 16 there's gonna be voice acting with unique lines for all characters and certain skins so that means certain skins that we see in the game for example i think it's dark superman or villain superman and i'm pretty sure we're gonna be able to hear different voices for those type of characters another example would be the uh, x-force harley quinn she's gonna have a different voice for that character most likely and that's just awesome to hear man number 17 is the shop you know the shop as we just saw about the customization so the shop's most likely gonna have skins taunts announcers ring outs profile pictures banner music uh, men menu music and again possibly intros and outros number 18 battle pass come on now it's a free-to-play game were you expecting anything else <laughs> moving on number 19 going into pretty much the fighting in this game so what they have is special perks and normal perks yes this game is a little bit unique on their own um i do want to say that these perks are not pay to win they are earnable through just playing and this goes into number 20 um you have to be level 10 to hold all your perks if you see it in the trailer i think you won't see it in this trailer because i made all the clips only the fighting scene but pretty much in the um the regular trailer um you can see where you have to be like level 10 to get this last perk so there's gonna be three small perks and there's gonna be one special perk i'll probably throw it on the screen so you can see it if you're you know you haven't seen anything about multiverse and first time ever watching like any video so i'll throw that in there number 21 it will be character leveling yes that's another thing that's about this game that's somewhat unique and within the character leveling there is rewards like in-game currency taunts skins perk spots like for example you got to get the character level 10 to um you know be able to hold all the perks and then toast that's all we know it's, it's just toast <laughs> they didn't tell us what it does yet it's just toast number 22 there are five classes in multiverses assassin bruiser mage slash range tank and support and then also um if you have like i said if you saw the trailer there's something that specializes in on your move sets for example if your character specializes in horizontal attacks or vertical attacks you should see that on the screen right now pow uh number 23 will be server locations guys obviously we have the locations of norfolk america south america uh mexico and all that stuff and you know uk and all that stuff but we don't have the precise area where their server is going to be at yet so unfortunate but obviously this game is going to be worldwide and you'll be able to play it we just don't know where the servers are currently uh number 24 blocking currently blocks queuing and communications with the person it could change um the best change i said at least uh, when i talked to tony about this was that they could do where you don't queue up with the person anymore 
but like for rank example um you do you're not you're not going to be queued up with them as a partner because if you don't know you could partner up um with random people just by queuing up but you don't partner up with them anymore but you still have to face them because you know that will kind of mess up like the whole ranking system if you block people and you just never have to face them again so i think blocking will be good for the people that just don't want to play with certain people or they don't click with people or they troll and all that stuff so they just get away from being their teammate but yet they still have to face them you know but yeah moving on we have number 25 which would be the current and new characters will all have showcases for example little you know little things showing the characters all which is awesome can't wait to see that number 26 music and multiverses will be remixed version of the original known tracks and they said that they put a lot of love into it so still the original just a little just a little sauce you know a little multiverses sauce into it <laughs> number 27 multiverses will have achievements you know for, for the achievement trophy heads uh number 28 um, they haven't decided on a ping limiter, so if you don't know what a ping limiter is, it's pretty much to make it a more fair play game. So, for example, uh, a ping limiter is like they can set the server to where you can't get anything better than, for example, 20 ping. You know, even though you're probably like dead on the server, you should be on 5 ping. They can lock it to where it's 20 ping, so it's like a fair play for everybody around the world in like that region area. You know, but yeah moving on 29 twitch rewards and partnership for multiverses can't wait to see that can't wait to see all the unique stuff they can have and actually working with their content creators and pros love to see it man number 30 additional to new characters will add as many as we possibly um quickly as we can as devs possibly can be the limit being each character must um, feel very unique and authentic to their source so yeah this is going back to one of the tips i said before about any characters possible any characters possible but they have to like i said go through a test number 31 stages aren't based off of characters so for example you could see different stages that don't have a character you could see stages that doesn't initially have to be based off of a character type type stuff so we could definitely see a lot of character a lot of stages even if we don't have characters of them uh, moving on will be 32 stage hazards this could be an option if players wants it Again, this is like the 50-50 thing where they said it, but it's like, it's not confirmed. But if people want it, they'll throw it in there. Moving on to the competitive side of the multiverses will be number 33. There is a rank mode, but sadly, there is no system revealed yet. We don't know if it's going to be a tier system, an elo system. We have no clue. Number 34, leaderboards, guys. Yes, there's going to be leaderboards that's going to be showing people ranks off and all that stuff. We don't know what's going to show off, like like from 1 to 1,000, 1 to 10,000. We don't know yet, but at least there's going to be leaderboards. That's amazing. Can't wait to see. Number 35 are stat records. Yes, guys, you'll be able to keep stats between characters that you go against, other people you go against. You know, your win loss, your damage, all that stuff. Can't wait to see that, man. Number 36. There's esports, guys. Yes, if you don't know that, there's esports, and they already have an esports manager that has already been announced. And yeah, man, can't wait to see it. Number 37 are patch notes. Yes, there's going to be patch notes for this game. Every time they update the game, you know, other games like Fortnite don't want to have that. But yeah, can't wait to see that, man. I think it's awesome to see changes, you know, throughout updates and stuff. Number 38, there will be a possible tool to make custom maps. Tony pretty much said how that they're a service game. And if people want to, you know, want this, they'll do it. So guys, if y'all want to be able to make maps in multiverses just for the fun of it and, you know, make cool maps with your friends and stuff, there you go, man. Request it, and you can definitely see it in the future. Number 39, they're going to be doing a replay SAS theater mode. They just haven't figured the best way to do it yet, but they confirmed that that's what they want to do. Love it, man. Can't wait to see that. Would we'll love to make some cool cinematics, you know, with the theater mode. Number 40, fake attack slash cancels. Yes, that is in the game. It's like a real fighter and a platform mixed together, man. I can't wait to see this game. That's all he said about it is that you can fake can't fight attacks and cancel attacks. And this is like more of a bonus right here. This is more on like the whole beta information. Let's get straight into it. So the crazy one that I can't wait to see will be number 41, which would be something exclusive for playing the playtest. Yes, if you get into the playtest, the first and the second one, you're possibly going to get it. Something exclusive that we can only have to show that we're, you know, beta testers and stuff. Can't wait to see what it is, man. Cool. Number 42. If you don't know, guys, there's a second playtest going into the works actually happening right now for 10 days from the 25th to the 27th but sadly it is only for pc players on steam um and it's only na sa mexico and canada um but it's okay because the 43rd the next play test they are hoping for it to be open beta so it'll allow everybody 
which will walk into number 44, which that it will have crossplay, meaning console players, because you know they gotta test that out sometime before the game comes out. So that's gonna be awesome. And then again, number 45 to end it off is other regions, you know, Asia, UK, and everything, etc. Oceana. Yes, guys. That is all the 45 facts that we know about multiverses so far. And that is it. <laughs> Leave a like if you like the video guys. Comment about anything, you know, I love your comments. Comment if I miss anything or comment if anything new um you know pops up that I should pin your tweet your you know your comment in the video to the top. And this is your ever first time ever watching my video guys. So don't forget to subscribe button guys. Like like 80% of y'all are not subscribed to me, but y'all love watching my videos. Come on man. It's free. <laughs> I'm out guys. Peace. She got a man, she don't really give a fuck about left him back home in a whole nother state. Moved to LA cause she wanna be famous. Got another five on the side, she a waitress, but it's getting tough. Hard to find out.